Hi guys, Lynn Antwi with the Red Carpet Report. We are at Exchange LA for the Comedy Shorts Festival. I mean, I know that I'm gonna bust a gut laughing. We're gonna talk to a ton of celebrities, so come on, let's go check it out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So tell me, fifth year. Yep. How did you guys come up with this? And can you explain to our viewers who don't know about the LA Comedy Shorts what it's about? I'm gonna explain everything to people who don't know about the LA Comedy Shorts, what it's all about. Uh, it is the largest short comedy film festival in the world. Uh, it came up, we started it five years ago. Me and my comedy writing partner, Jeannie Roshar, we'd written a comedy short, was playing at a bunch of different really serious festivals and we thought, Let's make a film festival that's only for comedy shorts, something that we could win ourselves. We did it. There wasn't another one in existence at the time. It got very large very quickly, so we're really happy with it. We're seeing that. Yeah. Now, you do so many things. Like, I don't know if I should talk about the voiceover, the acting, the producing, all this stuff. But you forget the thing I do better than all of those. Which is? I make love. Incredibly. Oh I'm an incredible. Of course yeah. you are. I'm an incredible love is. maker. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I understand that you recently had a Kickstarter. Yes. Tell us and our viewers how that went for you, because it's closed now, yeah? It is closed. We were trying to raise $200,000 in 30 days. We did not make it. We made 130000 It was for the Uncle Ruckus live action movie, an animated character that I play that we're going to do live action. The good thing that came out of the failure is a lot of people came out wanting to actually invest in the movie on a very large scale. So even out of that, not making Kickstarter, yeah, good stuff is happening. The blessing was there, and then and we know about it. Yeah. The word is out of, out there. We know about it. You got the word out. Now, what's your favorite voice to do besides your very own? Probably my Uncle Ruckus character. Will you do a little something yeah. for our viewers who are in the dark that you don't know Uncle Ruckus and you have to watch Boondocks? Hello. But first, let me tell you this. Uncle Ruckus is a black dude, does not think he's black, hates all black people. He's horrible, and that's why I love playing him. That hand, Uncle Ruckus. I'm standing with a colored woman with a microphone. Of course, she must have stole this microphone because she could never afford it all her life. That's Uncle Ruckus being very kind. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now, any predictions for Inside, or do you have to be, like, neutral? For tonight? Yeah. I have to be neutral, but I will, I'll say this. We're all winners, except for those who lose, and they are not winners at all. They're second place. But the winners are winners. And you know who you are. They, well, they will. And when they do, they'll know. And the losers, they'll know, too. Now, real quickly, because I know that you have some other people that want to interview you. If someone is talented, an animator or com comedian, how can they get involved with this? It's great. LAComedyShorts.com will let you know when we're starting to accept new submissions in, scripts, uh, and films. Just follow us at LAComedyShorts.com. Get on the mailing list. We'll send you stuff out. That's it. It's a wrap. He did really? a great job. Gary, great job. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll be making love to you later, because that's what I do. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. I mean, you had tons of laughs. Keep the laughs coming. Bye, guys.